Welcome back friends to Surviving the Daily. I hope everyone is surviving well. So, I see a lot of people doing the Altoids survival tins and I had been thinking for a while that I wanted to do something that was, you know, Surviving the Daily style where I could have something that I could just grab and go or if I wanted to or if I was planning on going to a wedding or a work conference or a Christmas party I didn't want to carry everything that I normally carry um, on a large level so things like a multi-tool a large pocket knife a pocket pen um, so I had been kicking around this idea for a while and uh, the more and more I think about it, I don't want to do a pocket tin. I mean, I know this is kind of a bait and switch. Uh, you came here to see my Altoids uh, survival tin, but this is just big, bulky, noisy. I mean, the Altoids survival tins are cool, but uh, this is not something I want to put in my pocket and and go with um, as fun as they are this is not a ideal everyday carry or special everyday carry um, so with that being said I came up with the zero feud uh, COP uh, cup um, and uh, I started adding to it and I thought I'd come on here and show you what I have so far. As you can see, I mean, they're almost the same, same size. You can probably fit more in here uh, because there's less wa wasted space, but this I feel like would be more, you know, comfortable in a pocket. So starting on the outside, I have my pocket knife the Gerber LST and my Fisher Space Pen. So let's take a look on. One thing that annoys me about these Zero Feuds is that I feel like you should be pulling the zipper this way, but it feels back. It feels backwards. It, it's not not an issue. But regardless, so what we have in here is, it, it's a work in progress. So we have our Olight uh, i3, i3e EOS. Um, and we have, I, I don't go anywhere without Women's Hill. Uh, we have your classic Bic lighter. I'm going to get a smaller one for in here, but, and then the multi-tool, the Gerber Dime. Now there are a few other things I'm going to add in here. Um, right now I do have one medication, it's the Advil uh, Congestion and Sinus Relief. That can double as a pain reliever, it does have ibuprofen in it. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean this is this is going to stay packed like this on my dresser, my bureau. Um, and if I plan on doing something where I don't want something on my belt or a big, you know, po pocket bulge, this is going to I mean, this is going to slide in your coat pocket. You can slide this uh, in your um, rear pocket. It's not going to attract any attention. It's small enough, and uh, you know, don't do what I normally do and overpack my pouches. And I don't plan on doing that with this one. This is only going to carry the bare essentials. So, again, sorry that this was a bait and switch. The Altoids tin just wasn't going to do it for me. Um, I was thinking that. Things are going to be banging around in there unless I really pack it tight um, or put some sort of sound dampening in it. And it's just no give, kind of bulky. I know this is bulky, but there's just no give to this. And yeah, so this that's my take on the Altoids uh, survival kit. 
this is this is going to be a special occasion survival kit where nobody's going to look twice at that but anyways as always i appreciate everybody watching i hope everyone's having a great day and i will see you next time